Welcome to this video in which we will be designing the spark gear and pinion. I will explain some of the necessary formulas and calculation in the video and you can find other information in the description. Let's start. Select assembly and click OK. First of all select this unit to IPS. Now go to sketch, select circle. Make two circles, one bigger and one smaller circle. Now go to smart dimensions. Make this bigger circle as a uh, five millimeter and smaller circle as 1.25 millimeter. Now make some relations. Press control button on your keyboard, select this bigger circle, now select this smaller circle and make this tangent relation. Similarly, press the control button again, select this bigger circle center and smaller circle center and make relation horizontal. These are the two relations. This is the formula for initial circle. That is number of teeth divided by diametral pitch. For gear, it is 5 and for pinion, it is 1.25 inches. You can find all the details including uh, calculations and formulas in the description. Now select this design library. Select this ANSI. Then go to this power transmission. Go to gears and select this spur gear. Simple spur gear. Drag this spur gear here in the bigger circle. Zoom out and let's define the parameters. For diametral pitch, select 16. Number of teeth 80 and uh, we're gonna set pressure angle as 20. Face width is uh, 1. Select this uh, square 1. OK. You can find all the necessary details and calculation and formulas of uh, these parameters in the description. Select for pinion and then press escape button. Now click here and edit toolbox components. Now add details for pinion, diametral pitch, keep 16 in order to mesh, number of teeth, we will change these, select 20, pressure angle will remain same, face width is uh, 0.75 and internal diameter will also change. Rest of the details will be remaining same. Square one, this is same. Click OK. Now this is fixed, make it to float so that it can rotate or it can move. Rotate component, rotate it like this. Also rotate the pinion like this. Move it in the circle. Now click here mate. This is empty. Select inner circle and this is selected and select the outer circle. This is also selected. Click OK. Similarly select the outer circle of the pinion and the inner shaft diameter. Click OK. Now hide this sketch. like this. Now it's time to join the gear and uh, the pinion in a plane so that they can rotate together. Select the gear, mate, expand this bar and select front plane. 
similarly uh, select the smaller gear pinion front plane and mate now they can rotate together or you can say they can mesh now they are joined move it like this so that the gear are not touching now select this option physical dynamics rotate it let me zoom out and yes they are meshing now it's time for the motion analysis select the motion study Exp expand this bar click on settings and uh, increase this up to 40 okay now select this uh, contact select gear and pinion this is the gear I have selected and now I have selected the pinion click OK click here and drag it to 8 second select motor assign the direction to gear you can change the direction like this and uh, for motor rpm select 4 now select motion analysis it is not here don't worry expand this bar click on add zone and select this option solidworks motion click ok it will take some time now it will be here select this motion analysis now click on calculate it's too slow so let's uh, increase the speed 8 rpm click ok calculate again now let's play do not forget to like and subscribe thanks for watching